Welcome, 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 welcome to the fifth episode of Gadgets We Have Been Asking For, where we review gadgets that you suggest. And this episode is going to be very interesting because we have some really cool gadgets like this mobile's graphic tab, three-in-one power bank, motion cupboard lights, and many more. On that note, this is Pratik. Let us know which was your favorite gadget, and let's get to the first one. Oh. Okay, so first up we have Akshay Jain who wanted us to try pen tabs for digital painting and all. So we went to Amazon and see here there are so many options for pen tabs. But we got this pen tablet from the company called Yuan for around 2500 INR. In the box you get the tab, the pen, USB A to micro B connector, some extra tips for the pen and a USB to type C converter. Oh, and you also get the instruction manual. So you have to connect the tablet to a laptop or PC, download the driver from the website and that's it. Now see, the mouse is moving as I move the pen. And now if I go into Photoshop, see I can use the pen to draw anything I want. Like, let me show you. And subscribe to TechWiser in case you haven't subscribed. And here's the best part. See, if I put less pressure, the stroke is like this. But now if I apply more pressure, the stroke becomes bigger. Very handy for digital painting. Also see if I just hover over the tab. So that's cool, like you know where the pointer is. And you get two buttons on the pen and four of them on the tab. All of them are programmable from the software. Plus this is a battery-less pen, so you don't need to charge it or put any cell batteries or anything. And here's a fun thing. You can also connect this graphics tab to your phone. And see, I get the mouse here and now I can use my phone like this. But on phone, it doesn't work that good with the other apps. You will have to use the Yoon app and see on the app, there are tons of ads. Like, everyone has to make their bread and butter. Or jam, if you don't like butter. Peanut butter. So yeah, I really liked it. Like, 9 out of 10. Super recommended if you have a low budget and you are into digital painting and all of that. Next up, we have Raj Chauhan who wants a wireless charger, but Raj will do you one better. This is a wireless charger, come mobile stand, come power bank. Triple thread. So this is 3-in-1 power bank from Spigen which cost 2399 and for the price it packs in quite a lot of stuff. Like let me show you. Firstly, see here this looks like a normal power bank. You get a USB A port and type C port at the bottom. You also get this button on the side which shows how much juice there is in the power bank. Now this is also a wireless charger. So see I'll put my phone here and ta -da, it charges. And that's not all. You also get this dock to put in the power bank and this TPU deck. So now if I put my phone like this, well, see, I can watch movies on it and charge the phone at the same time. How cool is that? Now I was researching on Amazon and a lot of comments said that it heats up quite a lot during wireless charging. But wireless charging does heat your device. It's normal. Now this has a 10,000 mAh capacity. So if you're in the market for a wireless charger, 9 out of 10, super recommended. I still find it a bit expensive, but Spigen is a well-known brand. And you can check out these products on the product tags below. Okay, moving on, Ashutosh Kashyap wanted some desk come work from home accessories. Well, there are a lot of desk gadgets, but I'll give you two of my favorites. Number one is this Tukzar. Tukzar. It costs 1500 rupees and it can be used on a laptop or even on a computer monitor. So, on the inside, you get this light bar and USB A to Type C cable. And this is very helpful if you're working in low light or even working late night, no more eye strains. Now you can have it in yellow or white color. I like the yellow one more, it seems more soothing to the eye. And you have these touch sensors to change light, increase or decrease brightness and it works seamlessly. The only drawback is if you're using it on a laptop or a thin bezel monitor, it might block some part of the screen over here. However, while typing and all of that, it is not an issue. 7 out of 10, recommended. And another desk accessory for you is this 8-in-1 cleaner from Portronics which cost around 4.99 only. And this has so many functions like let me show you one by one. You get a brush to clean the keyboard. Then you have this cleaning liquid over here. <laughs> over here. Spray it on your mobile screen and you can clean it. Looks good. If you have a TWS, you can use this to clean the buds and this over here to clean the case. And that's not all. I can even keep my phone over here and now this is a mobile holder. Also hidden over here is this key puller. So if you have a mechanical keyboard, I can use it to pull apart the keys and then use the brush to clean it. And now I don't know how to put back the keys. So basically 8-in-1 solution for the price, I would say this is good value for money. 8 out of 10, recommended. Up next, Ashwin wanted some home automation. So we got this door sensor from the company Okos for around 1200 rupees. And this is a small but really handy gadget. 
First, you got to install the app. On Android, you have to install Smart Life app. And if you're on iOS, the app is Okos. Now, pair the device to your phone. You just have to press this button until it starts blinking. And you have two modules. You can use double-sided tape and stick them to the door. You get all of that within the box. So the big module goes under the door like this. And the other one is on the wall here like this. And now you can just ask Google Assistant, Hey Google, is my door open? door sensor is open. Also, you can set alarms. So when you're away from home and if the door is open, it will send you an alert on the app. But here's the fun part. If you have smart light at home, you can set automations. So now when I open the door, hold on, any moment, three, two, one, the lights turn on. And now when I close the door, just wait for it. If you close the door, the lights turn off. And this entire thing is battery operated. So when you run out of battery, you will have to open it like this and then you have to replace this battery. So yeah, for 1200 rupees, this is a good smart device, helpful in some of the use cases. Eight out of 10, recommended. Okay, next up we have Vasu and he wants some decor lights. Well, we went on Amazon and we found these functional and useful hinge lights. These cost 550 for a pack of four to six. Okay, so you get the hinge lights, the battery and the screw in this plastic paper. First, you have to install this base on your cupboard hinge like this, screw it in. Next, install the battery on the module and place it on the hinge. Fun fact, these are 23A 12 volt batteries. Hard to get in the local shop, but I could find it on Amazon. Now, every time you open the cupboard, you have lights. Now, one con is this hinge light is loose and see when I open, it doesn't work. You have to do this. So overall, five out of 10 kind of meh product. Like if you get good ones and your cupboard is really, really dark, then it works. Finally, we have Nikhil and he raises an important question. Like we have so many smart portable devices, phones, TWS, smartwatch and all of that but not enough devices to charge them. Well, Nikhil, we may have a solution for you. This keychain that doubles up as a power bank and it costs around 2400 rupees. But see here, this looks like a normal keychain, but now you can remove this and you have this type C charger and this other one, you have a lightning plus micro USB charger. So basically you can charge your Android phone as well as your iPhone. Also, you get this dock, so you have to stick it to any power outlet and when you return, you can just drop your keychain like this here and this will charge the battery all the time. Now, I have two concerns with this device. Number one, it is only 1400 mAh. So if you have a 5000 mAh smartphone, it will only charge your phone 20%. Also, the charging speed is pretty slow, like though it is not stated on the website, but we checked and it charges the phone at around 5 watt. But remember, this is only for emergency cases. So when you run out of battery, it would be just enough to get your device started and usable to do an Uber Ola or something. Other than this, you'll have to buy it from the Rolling Square website and it is a pretty handy gadget. 8 out of 10 recommended since it is Apple certified. And I still didn't get the meaning of the word Tau. Tau. Totally accessible unit. It is not. <laughs> Bro, for a second, I felt I is so smart. <laughs> so yeah, that was the list. Let us know in the comments which was your favorite gadget. Also, drop in your suggestion for the next gadgets you have been asking for series. And if you pick your gadget, we'll give you a shout out. Fair deal. And also, before you start suggesting, there are a few conditions. Please don't recommend TWS, laptops or phones because we have dedicated videos for that. Only recommend gadgets that you would want to buy and you think would be useful for the community as well. Preferably those which are value for money. On that note, this is Pradeek signing off. See you in the next video. Pew, pew, pew.